Bee colonies in Somerville wiped out after aerial spraying of a pesticide to kill mosquitoes. I have an apiary here with 40, 46 hives of bees. Well, I did have, I now I have boxes. This yard used to be filled with a golden glow because of the amount of bees. Today, it's nearly empty. We have to be kind and compassionate and figure out what's going to work, what's going to be the best methods to treat anything without harming the honeybees. We spoke to bee owners who say they're devastated. I was angry that day. I mean, I just, it just didn't make any, I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that we sprayed poison from the sky. But they want this to be a teaching moment. And you can point fingers and blame everybody. That's not going to accomplish anything. But if we turn this into a, a teachable moment that how important bees are to the environment, how unhealthy it is to aerial spray. Even though there were mistakes made and balls dropped on this, I don't feel like anybody did this in a malicious way to harm my bees. They believe that this problem goes beyond the bees. Autism's on a rise. Bee, bees are on a decline. Is it coincidental? I don't think so. Nalid was the chemical used. If everyone just goes to an EPA website and starts reading the precautions, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be beside yourself. An EPA document says people concerned should bring grills, pets, and child toys indoors during a spraying. The problem? Most people didn't know the spraying was taking place. That same day they sprayed, we sent our kids out in the backyards to play.